and i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of uh, all the faculty members of speed and the speed team to dr kanupriya goel for scoring rank number 17 in bm anesthesia group in neat ss 2022 session congratulations to you thank you sir doctor can we know about your brief background of where you started your medical career from and uh, mental mean, mean, date what all you have done yes sir uh, so i started my mbbs in 2013 at ms ramaya medical college bangalore and i finished in 2019 and uh, i did my internship also from there and during my internship only i prepared for my pg and i uh, got anesthesia uh, i joined bjmc then amdavad and i just finished in may and i had this plan that i'll prepare for a year and then give the dm exam <laughs> that i'll join the light sr shape and explore all my options and uh, since internship only i was interested in critical care actually and i thought i'll uh, prepare for critical care and then they changed all the guidelines and they made different groups they put everything under medical group i mean they put critical care under medical group Uh, gross, and, gross, gross injustice has been done because <laughs> yes, those people who want from anesthesia mostly they prefer <laughs> critical care and that should have been given to them actually and putting them in the medical group and how to go back and read Harrison now from again from exactly day. so <laughs> I really struggled with that my dad is a physician so he got uh, Harrison's latest edition books uh, uh, from like the house and where I'm staying he like you read you read like give it a go. and i did not touch it also <laughs> i tried <laughs> i tried uh, seeing the uh, crash course classes on speed i i took uh, speed in july actually so they told me you prepare for both actually i thought i'll only prepare for critical care so they advised me you no know, you take the uh, package for any ss which in- and the neat ss uh, medical group so that was actually very helpful because uh, it was actually demoral- demoralizing to go back to medicine and starting from the beginning after studying anesthesia correct and in bjmc i got a very good exposure of all the super specialties as well so in ctvs and all we used to do thoracotomies and one lung ventilation and all those complex cases so i knew in my residency that normal md anesthesia won't be enough for me so i i am interested in doing complex cases and super specialty so i thought i'll give it a go and then i uh, took speed in uh, this this year july uh, and i started watching organ transplant cardiac anesthesia classes because we didn't uh, study that for our md exams properly because they don't really ask that all that in our uh, theory papers so those classes were actually very informative i learned so much after my md exam i feel <laughs> so that was uh, very informative and i gave two grand tests there are no grand tests available anywhere actually for anesthesia so uh, there were two grand tests i scored I, i got 52 rank in the first one and 93 rank in the second one so i thought okay i can do this and uh, i just revised my md notes and the classes uh, especially cpb and uh, cardiac anesthesia classes are very good even organ transplant brain death they've explained it very well because it's very hard sir going back to your books at this stage when you just clear your md exam so all those classes were really good and i even tried uh, studying ccm uh, but i knew that was wasn't going to be enough to crack the medical group exam so i i gave both exams i did very well in the anesthesia one i did very bad in the medical group <laughs> yeah so um, so you did uh, medicine as well and also anesthesia both. yes so i i wrote both the exams just to see how how i score uh, i scored very well in anesthesia i knew like i knew 60 to 70% of the paper in anesthesia yeah you were in medicine. that background right you are in the, the background of <laughs> anesthesia I mean everything that you can sense in the paper I mean you can make yes, it out yes sir yes sir so, so now now you are uh, dm in super speciality is towards what cardiac anesthesia or neuro anesthesia or organ transplant critical care and what uh, is coming at so i'm planning to fill organ transplant and cardiac both so organ transplant there are only three seats in delhi and i i am from haryana so i want to stay in delhi only uh, 
but those seats they get uh, like occupied in the first 10 ranks only so we'll never still, know we will not know in this common pool we'll never know who <laughs> exactly is exactly yeah <laughs> we can't go and ask what they are interested in only after the counseling and during the counseling we might know what what's happening yes sir. so i'll i'll fill both of them cardiac and organ transplant and see see both are really challenging and you mean cardiac anesthesia also you can uh, do transplant as well cardiac transplant yes sir, exactly <laughs> <laughs> so it is nothing wrong the cardiac anesthesia has broader perspective try to understand that uh-huh. See, once you can manage your heart well you can do any transplant that is an exclusive thing i feel like uh, a normal anesthetist cannot do cardiac cases i i was also interested in pediatric anesthesia because we had a uh, very big department of pediatric surgery in bjmc amdavad and uh, like uh, all the cases from gujarat used to come there only that was the only government center so we had a very good exposure i, I used to find it very challenging uh, but uh, it's in mumbai and 3 uh, years is a long time to give to pediatric anesthesia i feel so the cardiac anesthesia is uh, something different and um, mm-hmm. you will be a anesthetist you will be a cardiologist uh you will be interventionist I mean the lot of uh, uh, interface you need to you will be playing yes uh, in the theater of the theater pre op lot of uh, thing than they are this highly respected job and uh, mm-hmm. uh, I mean cardiothoracic surgeons have a great respect for cardiac anesthetist because they want a very good uh, on the head end so that the operative uh, field will be very smooth and we have a very good uh, uh, the head end of a cardiac anesthetist and we really love to kind of uh, have that surgery on that day because any problem they will be able to handle and take care and we can do the surgery peacefully and come out and during the recovery also and during to bring down bring up the patient back as well there are a lot of things and the techniques and ionotrope titration titrations all done by uh, anesthetist and cardiac anesthetist and it's a great field I mean whatever you are going to choose I'm definitely uh, patients are going to be get benefit out of your services so best wishes to you all the very best and all the success for your future career in the field of superficial anesthesia all the best to you thank you sir thank you sir